So last night, a very, very unsettling issue happened in the town of Maven. We were, we had persons who were carrying out certain duties. We noted that the town had been filled with green flags, mm -hmm. and that is their right. And so we were in the process of putting up our flags and had in fact put up our flags in various locations when we got a notification that uh, laborites were intimidating all persons who were doing that. Specifically, one of the councillor caretakers came out of her vehicle and went up to the persons who were putting up, the PNP persons who were putting up the flags. She went up to their, to their vehicle with the other two men with her and told them that they could not put flags in the town because it is Mike Henry's town. And so when I indicated to them that they should wait until I get there as I was just a few minutes away, by the time we got there, we understood that she had jumped in her car and left. We got the police involved, the police had come into the town where the incident was alleged to have happened. We thought that was the end of the matter, only to find out that about 10.30 in the night, we got news again from persons who were putting up flags that this time around a councillor, a sitting council of the Jamaica Labour Party came out with his gun and said to members of our team who were putting up flags that they cannot put up any flags in the town and that we cannot take over the town. So we went down there again with the police in tow to try and have the situation resolved. We didn't see them where they at that location. Whilst we're standing at that location, we got notification from someone exiting the town that they were actually in the town center at the club, tearing down our flags. We went up there, we saw them when they were in the process of taking down the flags. An altercation ensued. There was uh, who, in terms of who was present, you had the council for the Denver Division present, you had the council for Maven North Division both of whom are members of the Jamaica Labour Party and they had their supporters there uh, with them tearing down the flags. So if you notice now in the town of Maypen, there are no orange flags because they have torn them down. And so we reached out to the police. The police called in for reinforcement because things started to get a little intense. But they were insistent, they were adamant that PNP colors cannot be in the town. And so I would just like to take this occasion to say to members of the security forces that we are imploring them to use their good offices to ensure that good sense prevail amongst all parties, particularly those who feel as though they are above the law. For example, we noticed that the Jamaica Labour Party members went into the roundabout at Guinea Tree. They placed a huge placard there. They placed a huge red, a, a huge green piece of fabric obstructing traffic. I, would, I made contact with the police for that to be resolved. It was not, but suffice it to say, it has now been resolved. There was an incident last night in the vicinity of Church Street and Manchester Avenue when the PMP seeks to come to the campaign office of Lester Michael Emery to put up posters and supporters of the DLP who were out there about 10 30 last night challenged them. Huh? and then move from near Hocktown and to remove some flags and uh, billboards that were there. And coming back now, we saw the MB caretakers coming up, coming up, piloting the truck that was littering with flags. And not only that, there were kind of police officers so she started to hurl the explosive at me and I took her on. I was going to pray and ask her that So I let her know that I born in a mayfair and she can't make me left in a mayfair. So um, is, is, this, is this some intimidation tactic? Well, I would appear, it appears so. It appears because it's not the first time she tried to do that. She has tried it before. Huh? But we kept a very low profile and peace to be very, and kept her quiet. And we had no intention. We don't need violence to win the election. You see the hundreds of people that followed us and the, the hundreds of cars. Despite the fact we said to them, this is COVID. We're not having a big 
nomination. You will look, you will see, you can video it and you will see what is behind us. So we don't need to, we don't need the kind of tactic that she's trying to win election. We have done it nine time, times already. This is the tenth time. And we will be sending our home come the third of August. Right. She said, she said, like, um, she reported it to police. Have you done any I, I, the police was on the scene. So I didn't even have to report it to the police. You might have seen a video. Somebody had video the, the incident. The police was there. I heard that she said that gun was full at her. She's a pathological liar. And we can challenge that. And the police who were there can speak to that.